So I'm Nader Abishab and I'm a full-time photographer and camera op here in Phoenix, Arizona. This project initially started as a, a test shoot with my model friend, but we were just playing with movement and light and long exposure. We eventually got to a point in that photo shoot where we created these like images. I love working with aerialists in particular. I saw all these movements that they were doing, basically these dances in the air that they were creating. I was inspired by inkblot Rorschach tests, and I started getting the idea of making an image that could be interpreted however the viewer could interpret it. Maybe one time they see a face, maybe another time they see an animal or they see you know an object that they're familiar with. The whole point of that was to let the viewer interpret the image as they would. So for this project, I shot with two Ari Sky panels with uh, the snap grid and then the softbox with the grid on it. The softbox didn't have any diffusion, so it was just clean light coming through. And I gridded each one of those to match and uh, allow me to control the light as much as possible to not cast spill into the rest of the room. Shot right into the subject, which was set up in like kind of a hatchet lighting setup. So each light was on the side, turned directly towards the subject and then feathered slightly towards the camera to avoid uh, the spill onto the background. So for this project, I went with the S120s in particular because they were long and narrow. I knew if I had more of a rectangular light source, I could control it more. I knew that I wanted to capture full body images. So it provided the, the best solution for the images that I wanted to make. On the sky panels, I used all the HSI modes uh, and then dialed in uh, on one panel at a time the color I wanted. And then from there, could easily read the numbers, go do it on the other panel. It was easy peasy. We were able to create images in the back of the camera that matched the mood that they felt that they connected with. And from there, once I controlled that, I let the artist go and we would walk through each shot and walk through each motion they would do. Sometimes it was like one pose that I knew that they could nail and we would get them spinning and I would just direct them into uh, redoing or slowing down or speeding up based on the image I wanted to create with them. Each image was a three to five second exposure. I tried to keep all the apertures roughly between F8 and F13 to get optimal uh, image quality out of it. I shot these all on a D850 so I could get higher resolution specifically to eventually do a print show. The series currently consists of 10 final images. Personal projects really, really, really stimulate your own creativity. I definitely recommend jumping into a creative project on your own that has no motive behind it other than the creative process.